welcome again to uh, Earl of Harry Calm at the moment, Turnberry Links. A bit grey overhead, but uh, we are light in heart, gay in spirit. And with us today, it's a real battle of the heavyweights because we have uh, one of uh, Great Britain's finest rugby men from England, England's former captain, uh, fairly new to golf, Bill Beaumont it is. Of course, you recognise the slim, sylph-like figure of Bill, playing with the resident professional Sandy Lyle, former Open champion. Bill, how long have you been playing this wondrous game? Uh, about three years regularly, but I sort of played off and on when we went on rugby tours, but uh, it's a change from rugby anyway. And are you getting into it? Do you enjoy it? I do enjoy it, yes, that, uh, and I feel I'm getting more into it. And I think, the, obviously, the more you play, then the better you get, isn't it, really? Well, like where do you play? I play at Royal Lytham. Oh, very mm. nice. One of my favourites. Very oh, posh. Very very posh. Oh, no, it's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Looking out of the window over the 18th green, yep, very with a pleasant cup of tea and yes. a trumpet. Lovely, yes, yes. absolutely lovely. Nice and refreshing. Well, nice to have you with us today. And over on this side, another heavyweight, Lord Wogan. Lord Wogan Lord of the Wogan Forest. Of the Good morning. <laughs> Don't Good you morning. start. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I hate playing against somebody like Bill Bowen because you know, I've only been playing three weeks. So people say, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. isn't he done well for somebody who's only playing three weeks? Look at that Terry Wogan, he's been playing for a hundred years and he's getting no better. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, your man's looking rather splendid this morning, Lee. I've played many times with him, and I think Terry will do just fine. A little yeah, bit of Scottish you. here. Oh, yes, yes. yes. And I a little bit of Irish here. Yes, create yeah. the right international note. I'm going to spin a coin and ask Mr. Beaumont to call. Hence. You are wrong. He's wrong for one. Well, you so have what the does choice. that mean? You well, have the choice. That means you we and win, the gallant Trevino. Oh, Very we'll well, sir. We'll I leave first. it to my captain. Yes, we'll, we'll go, go first. first, yes. To the team. We're going. Bad thinking. Well, that's how they stand in the battle for this splendid White and Mackay Scotch trophy, Sandy Lyle's team leading by that single point. Today we're going to play a Texas scramble. Now, what's that I hear you cry? Well, it's a rather fun form of golf, a good game to have perhaps on a Christmas morning or on a wet day. All the players drive and then uh, the best shot is selected and I you play on from there and the way. best shot selected and so on and so on and okay. so on. We'll explain as we go along. Yeah, Let's go to the tee and see Trevino drive. The there, um... No strokes in this match. Uh, Willie? So hmm. a bit of tactical stuff to be thought about. Good straight driving, particularly. No, that's got to be in the fairway. That's in the fairway. I hit the fairway. Finally. Finally. Drinks for everyone. All my friends. Sandy, also a driver. No, he's pulled it away to the left. He's been down there a couple of times. Well, that's very close to the wall. It's all yours, Billy. Play hard. Now, that is not good at all. Celebrities move to their tee, and first it's Terry. Three wood. And he's... That's OK. Came up Got a low one, but he's OK. He's in the bank. All right, sir. <coughs> good thinking. But Lee's down the fairway. Remember, it's Wogan and Trevino as a team, so Terry can pick his ball up and we'll play another shot from where Trevino's ball is. Now, here's Bill Bowman. Rather a hooker's grip here. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, and he's hit a low one, so immediately Lyle and Beaumont in big trouble. <laughs> Which drive well, to nice select to here? It's nice to to start on, isn't it, Bill? I mean, you know, but there's not much trouble before the fairway. Another little point that we must remember is that during these nine selected holes, the celebrity's tee shot must be played on three occasions, so it's very important that at least they get their tee shots away three times. It's a scramble, you know, that's the way they, they invented the scramble. It's, it's for fast oh, play, is what it is, pretty it pro -am. Well, That's why they, they did it. They decided to play, you know, they play uh, from Sandy's spot. Go! You know, they, and they he's not quite reached the fairway. Now, Bill Beaumont will drop his ball within one club's length of where Sandy's played his from. Now, if Bill's got a chance of getting this down the fairway, I see no ships. Where's those ships gone? Oh, look at that left hand. Oh, he's hit a good one. Oh, he's hit it too well. It's across the other side. <laughs> but I don't think there'll be much doubt that that is where they'll play their next shots from. So all is not yet lost here at the opening hole for Beaumont and Lyle. 
Trevino's tee shot. Now his second shot. About 180 odd yards to go to the flag and he's punched in a five. Oh, what a delightful shot. Oh. Yes, yes, definitely. I want you to warm up. <laughs> you see, Terry drops his ball within a club's length of where Lee played. He's also hitting a five iron, but it's nice and comforting to know that your partner's fairly close to the pin. So, it, oh, and he's nobbled it. Well, it could scuttle. Looks like we're going to be playing yours again, eh? Well, tell you. Let me tell you something about that shot. Yeah. Don't try yeah. to make to lift the ball up. Yeah. Yeah. The, the secret to playing yeah. is to push. No, no, push the ball in the ground. Right. Push it in the ground. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You see what makes a ball? What makes a ball come up in the air? Is compressing the ball into the ground. Yeah. Then it works up the grooves, and that's what gets loft on it. And people, people are guilty of hitting up. Yeah. on all the shots <clears throat> and what happens is they put what we call an overspin on it and the ball never gets in the air it goes down here you see yes so every shot that <clears throat> you hit your first intentions is when you're coming down is to compress the ball on the ground that's why all the pros take the big divots that's why they take those big divots bill beaumont playing the third shot it should to his right side. Now, right. Well done, Bill. Now Sandy will have a go. That was a miracle. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all, Bill. Sandy has a go with a sand wedge. 110, 112 yards to go. No strokes in this match, and it's medal match play. Remember, look at this. Isn't it amazing? They may well still get their par fours. It's a fun game, this uh, Texas scramble. You've got to sort of learn the ropes a bit. Putting can be a bit tricky because you mustn't hole out too quickly because uh, w w once a ball's in the hole, that's the score you have to mark down. So here's Terry Wogan putting for his side first for a three. It and will come. Ah. See? Yeah. She never moved, did she? That's right. Now he's got to mark that one. I didn't one. think so. Don't tap it in. Mark it, mark it. Trevino now has a go for a birdie three. If it turns, it's not turning. Ah. Now they've both played three, so Trevino can tap in and I his side bit, will score oh, well, a par I four on this opening yes, hole. OK. That's, he picks up Terry's yeah, marker. Either side of the hole, didn't we? Yeah. I, it was a straight putt, I think. Now, they've got two chances here. Bill Beaumont and Sandy Lau to halve the hole. Sandy first. Oh, great four. Oh, and oh. all the way. Never looked anything else great but a four, four did it? <laughs> well, That's isn't it That's what they call a scramble. Yeah. That's Good what part. you do is call a scramble. And well played, Beaumont and Lyle. One hole gone, scores level, level par apiece. Second hole, there it is, and again, tied out and everything very still and calm. Lovely day to be wandering about. 425 yards, dinner footer. Here's a view down the fairway. Hole swings right to left, Trevino drives away. Yeah, it's nice tee shot. <laughs> Stay on top. Hey? <laughs> Why? I miss them all the time. <laughs> Sandy, one iron. Very nice. Mm, that was a good hit. <laughs> miss them all the time. Well, that's down the left side of the fairway. Gets a nice bounce down the hill. Very nice. <laughs> it's gone about 280 yards. Huge drive. Now, Terry, sticking with that three wood. That's a better one. Well done. 
good shot. Oh, that's fairly scampering away. Well done. That's a little better, yes. Yeah. That's a it's beauty. Well, remember, the celebrity's drive has to be used three times. This one, the drinks are on me! <laughs> oh, you old fool, be quiet. <laughs> Never bought a drink in his life. Bill Beaumont. Well, he knows that his partner's safely down the fairway, but if he can get a good tee shot away, they'll probably use his tee shot. Oh, well, that's not bad. They'll have to use a bit of strategy here. Well, let's have another look at our celebrity friends in slow motion. Terry, a big man, 15 stone, over six foot tall, and a little stiff above the waist. The, uh, you see, the shoulders look to be uh, turning well, but a little bit tight. Good position of the legs, strong legs, driving through. Now watch this, you see how he, his right shoulder knocks him up, the old creaking bones, get me up, get me on but not bad. Now, Bill Beaumont, on the other hand, has a, a very strong left-hand grip. You'll see how closed the club face is at the top of the backswing. The face almost pointing to the sky. Drives it away, fighting that vicious hook. Once he adjusts his grip, though, Bill will make progress very rapidly indeed. Well, they did decide to take Bill's tee shot. He's played and just missed the green. Now, here's Sandy Lau from the same spot, nine iron. Well, they got out of jail at the first hole, and Sandy's played a nice, confident shot into the green. That's hard to play. Nicely on. <laughs> yeah. no. And that's, he says, because you, you, you hit one that grip. Hit. This, this is no good for you, for your, no. for your strength. You want to make yeah. him a bit, otherwise your right hand's going to be too dominant over the hole. So I've got to turn it over. I've got to make, just palm to palm. Let's see if I spot it in that way. There. Mm -hmm. Work on the grip, that's the most important part. And then the club head comes back like a door. Opens does that up. feel as though it's moving when I bring it back quite often? Yeah, you hold the club. Of the golf club. So they want to be more. Right. In the fingers, yeah. Then from the ball, that club is square now. The ball, the club, sorry, the club stays fairly square mm. and then it start, it starts to open like a door. Right? Mm. You see that left hand stays this way. That, that's, there. Now, yeah. now you're in a, in a good position now. So that, that, that follows the sort of. That's the distance you want, you see. Yeah. You do, you're getting a bit sort of. Like that, yeah, I feel as I'm going. So then you, then you can get your long back swing in then, you see. Yeah, because I feel as though I'm very yeah. cramped. Right, again. Yeah, good stuff. Terry, pitching wedge. Big hit. Big kick. Oh, a little short. It's on, though. A little short. A little short. Yeah. yeah. It didn't hit it quite hard. Mm. So both celebrities' tee shots have been used here at the second hole. Now, uh, Trevino with his second, also a pitching wedge. Better. Oh, oh too unlucky. Hard, unlucky didn't get that I back spin. Too hard. Still pretty damn good, sir. Yeah. I think they'll I be was trying to just putting Trevino's ball, and off he goes into the wide blue yonder. Now, once the players are on the green and can lift the ball, they can putt in any order they wish. When you play a tee shot, the person whose tee shot you play must hit. The shot Not high first. enough. So Sit down. Oh, Trevino Sit asking down. Terry to putt so he gets a Sit look down. at the Wrong run of the there. ball. Yeah. And he knows now that it's fairly quick and there's a lot of swing from the left hand side. Now Terry will mark. Ooh. Now, Trevino aiming well out to the left, as you can see. Got a it, chance. Got a chance. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Swing ah. it, it had a chance, partner. Well Always tough from that distance on these greens, isn't it? So when it comes to holding out time, they'll both putt from where Lee's ball is finished. Bill Beaumont for a three. Get hit him up, hit him up, hit him up. Mark it, Billy. You put your winter green on this morning, Bill. <laughs> Roll, Jack. <laughs> How personal. Sandy for a three. Hold oh, a lovely no. putt at the first, and he's nearly Bye -bye. got it in. Same thing. It looked good all the way, didn't it, until the last few feet. Mine did the same. That's a gimme, isn't it? Oh, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> you got to put it for all his friends. Yeah. yeah, knock it in. Hey, so I'm Beaumont and Lyle give me that. You get a four. Give, you mean he's not this? And Trevino and Wogan have to hold out. Okay. Yes, nicely done. Yeah, 
Very nicely done. I aye. suppose they think that was easy. Mm. Aye, aye, there's a scent of liniment in the air, sure enough. Two holes gone, scores level. Both sides at par, and on to the short third. The maidens are uh, very benign today. A little bit of breeze, as you can see, straight behind the tee. And for Trevino, it'll be a seven iron. It should kick left off of there. Yeah. And it will, and it has. Come on. Yeah. yeah. I suppose like plants, is you can talk to golf balls. But they won't listen a lot of times. <laughs> Only fades, the hook won't listen. Uh -huh. You can talk to the fade. Yeah. Trevino very close. Lyle, eight iron, trying to match it. Good night. Good. Oh, yeah, very nice. He has very matched nice. it. Two super yeah. shots. Very nice shot there. Guys, give us something difficult to aim at. Yeah. There he is. Follow through. Keep the left hand going through. Now, Wogan, eight iron. Their tee is some 40 yards forward. Prize for nearest the pin, but you must be on the green. Oh, oh, he's pulled those Pull arms out. in again. See, he doesn't extend quite enough through the ball. And he's over there. Don't think we'll be using the celebrity tee shot here. There are the two professionals, Trevino on the left. Now, Bill Beaumont. Come on, Bill, hit the green for that nice prize. Pulled it a bit. Oh, if it doesn't run too far, it could stay on the green. It has, and Bill has won the prize. Well done. Bill, five years since you stopped playing. Yeah, rugby. that's right. You miss it, obviously, do you? Yes, I think I, I miss the sort of camaraderie that you have within the team. I think I miss that more than the actual physical playing aspect of the game. Now, just refresh everyone's memory, this, this accident you had, which would have been uh, horrendous if something else... It was the neck, was it? The yes, neck? that's right. I think it was just sort of wear and tear, sort of ten years of playing. It just sort of uh, took its toll on me. And the, and the specialist said, look, if you go and have another tweak at this... It yeah, could... he said you could almost uh, end up in a wheelchair and, in some ways, it's a very hard decision to make when you retire. But in, with me, it was quite easy because the, I would have been an idiot to have ignored what the doctor had told but how me. How old were you then, Bill? 29. And you, and you felt if you hadn't had that wear and tear, how long would you have gone on, do you think? I would like to have carried on until I was about 33, I think. But I suppose then shoulders would have given up <laughs> and knees or something else. Uh, it's a hard game. So Terry putting first off Lee Trevino's tee shot. This for a two. Best putter in Dorset. Oh, oh. It's only a small kind. Put a mark on it. Put a mark on it. <laughs> Never mind, sir. Mark it. She whizzy. Yes? Oh, a shake of the head. Did you pull it a little bit? It broke. It still broke pretty good, didn't it? Yeah, I didn't hit it quite enough to the right. Come on, Lee. Just... I think a nice firm tap, an inch outside the right of the hole, should do the job. Oh, lovely, yeah. lovely too. Hold on, my man. Ah, uh, huh? Hmm. Hey. Yeah, I brought that elbow in. See, I had I had the shoulder too low. I brought that. You learned that from me, didn't you? No, I took this putter home last <laughs> night. That's what happened. I said, "There's something I'm doing wrong with this putter." I had it. I had the shoulder down here. See where it's at? And I part of the waving, so I pulled it up. Bill Beaumont off. Sandy's tee shot for a two, and Bill, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. Mark it, Bill. Don't tap it in. If it had been on the left lip. Hmm? If it had been on the left lip. Hmm? Lyle. You've put these two well today so far. Sandy Lyle for a two. Lots of little runs and burrows. Very difficult to read some of these greens. No. He hit that a little too fast. Certainly putting them terrible. 
Lewis knocked it out to the right. Can't make a putt. So that's a three for Beaumont and Lyle. On Sandy and Bill level par. Lee and Terry one under. On to the uh, fourth hole, the monument, 441 yards. Both the pros have driven and not too well. But here's a young fellow we found in the crowd who might be able to give him a tip or two as to how to get their tee shots away. Take a little practice thing over there. From the no, don't hit the ball. That's it. One. Beautiful. Get that right foot up more when you swing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All, All right. right. Go so ahead. Good hit lad. It. Hard. Hey! Well oh, played. Way. Thank you. Thank you. Well, a star may be of the future. And here's another star, our young Terence. Three wood. Needs a good one to help his side. Oh, I love it. He's done it. I love it. Always there yes, when sir. needed. You're going to take it again? I think we'll have to take that one again. Be still, yeah. my beating heart. <laughs> Now, Bill, and if he can get this tee shot in play, I think uh, his tee shot will be used again also. Oh, pulled it. Easy, easy. Stay between them. I thought mm. you it's short of the bunker. I thought you said you could talk to Fades. Maybe OK. Hey? Talk to Fades, you can't talk we'll to him. Hook won't listen. Hook won't listen. Might just be short of the bunker. Bill oh, Beaumont second. It's all right, from the edge of the rough, but Sandy can play his second shot from within a club's length. He's managed to, you see, he hasn't cheated and put it out on the fairway. It was in the rough, so a club's length. Still plays it from the light terrible rough. Today. Terrible Absolutely today. terrible today. Funny, isn't it, how it comes and goes, even for the best. So Sandy's put his team in the greenside bunker. Comes and goes. Right oh, chance here for Wogan Trevino. 195 yards, a five wood. Easy. Get to the right. Go now. Go. Keep going. Could oh, come around the top of the back. Look at this oh, one. Come on. Oh, it, it's not ah, in the stopped in there. It's still going. It stayed out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not bad at all at all. Very good, sir. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> what is it? Two iron for Lee. A low cutter. Oh, I hit it a little chubby, partner. It might be enough. I hit a lot of club. I hit a lot of club, I'll tell you. Hey, my man. Yeah. I hit a lot of club. Yeah. Do you think that's our tactic? Yeah. I play the drive, you play the second shot. <laughs> that's it's it. a new kind of game. Yeah. Yeah. We should, <laughs> maybe we should do a pro-am. We'll do a pro-am for foursome. Tell them we want to go the alternate <laughs> shot business, right? <laughs> yeah. Sandy about to play the third shot, and this is elected to take the shot out of the bunker. That's a long bunker shot, slope behind the pin, so he could get a lot of backspin oh, on this. Oh. 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 Yeah, good shot. Out there, Sandy. Do I obviously go? have to get in here I mean, This is what, I mean, why? After why, that, Bill? <laughs> why did they put you through this? Uh, Bill has to have a go. Be nice if he popped it closer. Looks to be aiming too far left. Is he aiming too far left? No, I don't. Oh, now, if that spins solved. back, now there's Good a slope. Oh, yes, you All see, right. here it comes. Come on. Great shot. <laughs> well played. Well played. Put it right there, Pam. Terry putting for a three. Oh, great roll. Great roll. Oh, oh. I thought you made it. Yeah, pretty straight, wasn't it? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Put a mark on. Now, Trevino.
Uh, it's too high, partner. Won't come in enough. Had it too Down high. Down close, all yeah. the same. Well played. So both yeah, played, watch played three. Trevino, even if he misses this, Terry would have a putt from the same spot for a par. Doesn't yes, need sir. to. He can pick up. I can pick up. Yes, sir. Well played. Well Trevino played. Trevino and Wogan yeah. get there four. On this sort of line. All right. Ooh, oh, it's wriggled round there. Don't tap it in yet, Bill. Mark it. Where's the wind today? Nope, not, oh, mark, no. We'll have to mark the ball. <laughs> leave it there. Leave it, leave it. No, leave no, it. Just, Will uh, I jump around it. a bit nearer? Yeah, you mark it. You can't hold it out. <laughs> mark it? <laughs> yeah, you can't um, hold it out. It will not put it in. Yeah. <laughs> we can't well, I'm, I'm, we're right, Sandy, give us those. Sandy's marking balls with pounds. <laughs> huh? They used to be sovereigns. Well done. Yeah, nice, Good job. Now, you see, the reason Bill didn't hold yeah, out, because yeah. if he had done so, they would have had to put a five down on the card. So after another struggle, that hole was halved in par fours, uh, but Trevino and Wogan still ahead by that one single stroke. Fifth hole, tickly-tap. 379 yards. Wind just beginning to freshen a little bit. They come down into the corner there. Two bunkers down the left. Humps and bumps and... Uh, Thickish grass down the right. That's too far right. I cut it too much, partner. Oh, I almost got a birdie. Oh, that. Too much right, partner. That could be nasty. No good. Too much to the right. Sandy out with the favorite one iron. Oh, good ball, Sandy. Shot. Hmm. Oh. Good ball. Uh, oh. A hard bounce. I think it stayed in the fairway. A hard bounce. Not quite, sir, but it's lying all right. Long way. Ah, the age of innocence. Can Laurie Lee be far behind? Terry first with a three wood. Oh, perfect. If that's perfect, that's perfect he's bit. done his job manfully well. Yeah. We'll use know, his ball. What ball we're going to use again. Ooh, well done, Terry. Come on, Billy. Oh, he's pulled it again. But it may be hittable, may be usable. Oh, okay. yeah, over the top. Come on, Bill. They're playing a very important role, our celebrities, today in this uh, Texas scramble. A fun match. Two good old friends there, the old lab and the Weimarana. Your love of golf, Terry, is... Uh, <laughs> you're getting into the folklore of it a bit now, aren't you? Looking well, at the old record. My love it? of golf has always been tempered by my inability to play the game, as you can imagine. But in not being a natural like you were. But it's a funny thing, golf, as you, as you get a little bit better, it begins to bite. And over perhaps this year, I've played a little bit more and I'm beginning to want to play better, you know. But when you stand here, I was looking at the book that they've published uh, here in the open, for the Open last year. And it, the Open goes back to 1860, for goodness sake. Mm. It's almost back to Wellington, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, and you know, you think of old Tom Morris, Tom Morris Sr., Tom Morris Jr., mm. striding the links in the, in the plus fours and the suit and the tie and the tight the tight collar you know the detachable collar and the cap and playing with terrible old clubs and, 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 and doing, the balls that wouldn't travel scores, yeah. and scoring yeah. Yeah, yeah but at heart you're really you're just an old corinthian aren't you yeah, really, I'm, Are you? I'm, I, I like to think of myself as the reincarnation of cb fry who played uh, cricket for england and football and and was such a revered figure as a kind of amateur sportsman that they offered him the crown of albania 
<laughs> no, no you've made that up. No, 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 it's true. It's true. And I mean, I love the... I mean, I like the idea of you, the Corinthian you casuals. You've Albania, too, haven't you? I've loved... Yes, King Zog was a personal friend of mine. <laughs> It would, it would have been King C.B. Fry if he'd only taken it, but he, I think he was probably fishing on the Friday and said, no, I can't quite make the coronation. Or well, he might have got to the semis at Wimbledon <laughs> and just rode at Henley But don't you love and... those all oh, rounds, course, those yeah. renaissance, the Corinthian casuals running out onto yeah. the field at Wembley with their hands in their pockets and shorts down to here. And smoking the old quite, cigar. Quite, pretending that they didn't practice or anything. <laughs> it just comes naturally and clapping when the other side scored. And they would know how to do every dance, wouldn't they? Oh, Beautifully. Quite... Oh, gosh, And yes. card tricks. And fence. And f oh, Oh, yes, and all that. <laughs> ah, dear. Well, Sandy and Bill have already played up. A little right of the flag, I thought. Terry 9-9. Oh, he's got to get up. Got to go. He didn't quite get that hard enough, I don't Get up. Go, think. go, go. Okay. They've just tiptoed on. He's just stayed up there. Thank you. Wedge for Lee. Got to go. Go up. Oh, it's oh, up. right there. Okay. Oh, That's lovely up. stroke. That's definitely our tactic. He's I showing drive, us his full repertoire second. today. Lovely. You pot. <laughs> yeah, you drive, I'll hit the second shot. Yeah, okay? you pot, That's... <laughs> we, go, we birdie. <laughs> Oh, I say, there's a couple of all sorts. Very good. Handmade. So now, this is where Sandy's uh, second shot finished. Long way away. He and Bill will do well to get down in two from here. I didn't even strike it properly. <laughs> he has a quiet little grin to him. He doesn't mind. Terry for a three. Yes. Oh, Very nice. he's there. Very nice. Oh, Bernard. never sweat. All right, sir. Ah. A simple three. I'm glad three. you made it. I don't think I could have made it. <laughs> <laughs> Good, <That's> the... <laughs> Good fight. I don't think I could have made it. Yeah? You keep driving it. I'll keep hitting it. A three then for Wogan and Lee. Now, come on, Bill. This for a four. Yes, yeah, good. Well, they uh, they drop another stroke behind, but that's not bad. Two in it after five holes. Level par to two under. Next hole, well, there was no change at all. That was halved in par, so on to the Weeburn, their seventh hole, 409 yards. And the wind indeed has got a little stiffer. You can see the flag there fluttering bravely. Wind right to left. Generous fairway, no real trouble down the right. Bunker down the left, so I think we'll see Lee spanking it towards that mound on the right. Yep. Find the old right side again there, didn't you? Oh, that's a beauty. Find the old right side a bit more there again. Mm -hmm. draw. Got away with it again, I think. He's not happy with himself today. He's not himself today, but he's got away with it. Yeah, down the middle, partner. Good man. Oh, no, it's worse than ever now. I'm just numb now. Well, two reasonable drives from them. Bill and Terry could do no better. So here's uh, Lee. Playing his second, 130, 40 oh, yards. Oh, I don't think I'm up, partner. Eight eye. Oh, he's not. Oh, well. Up to you, partner. The strain. I hit it a little fat. Hit a little fat, partner. Well, now. This is an important one. We could see a big change here unless Terry can get this over the stream and onto the green. That's perfect. Oh, I may be in the hole. What a man. Good shot, partner. Can he take pressure or can he take pressure? Hey? <laughs> eh? Now, can he take... Can he take pressure? <laughs> Let me fan him a little bit. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, Sandy's got 140 yards to go. And that's a wedge. Oh. 
what a oh, delightful lovely. shot. Thank you. What a partner to have. Great stuff. That's better. Well, as we said often enough in this series, it all began in 1974, and some stalwarts have been with us uh, almost all the way. In fact, when they first started, uh, when was your first year, sir? I think in 1977. 77. Yeah. Yes. And the same for you. Husband mm -hmm. and wife teams. Perhaps. It's quite interesting <laughs> over the years how, when you look back, we had to actually pay 10 or 12 spectators to make sure we had a little gathering when we first started on some bad yes. days. And they used to interchange their clothes, you know, to make it look as if we had the hordes and cast of thousands there. And what has pro celebrity meant to you? Have you missed any over the years, or have you been to everyone? Not at Tunbury. You haven't missed I've any of the ones here? I've been to everyone at Tunbury. Very yeah. good. You still enjoy them as much as ever? Oh, yes. yes. And you, sir, how many times? About 78, I think. 78? Come to everyone since, yeah. You've been to the ones at Glen Eagles? Mm -hmm. Very much. Sort of annual holidays? Uh, no, sort of take a break from work now and again. <laughs> <laughs> and you, uh, sir, now you're a famous face we've seen here many times. Mm. Huh? I first came in 77 to Glen Eagles, Tony... Jacqueline yeah. and Johnny Miller were there then. No, 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 no. You used to walk around with a little headset. Was it you were listening mm, to the radio, cricket? Radio, yes. Radio and the cricket. The test match is not <laughs> on just <laughs> now. <laughs> if the yes, golf got enjoy, boring, yeah. you used to watch the cricket. Well, there you are. Just a sample of the, the splendid folk that have turned up at uh, so many of our matches since 1974. Long may you continue to do so. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, great crowd. Now, here's Terry putting for a three. And this... Is an oh, awkward one down the hill. It's a little, little speedier. Oh, come on. Turn, come on. Gee, that's a bad boss. Mm. Well, you can't come in at every hole. He's done sterling work today. Trevino from the same spot. Might be too high, partner. Oh, it is. It is indeed, and we could oh, see quite a dramatic change around here. Yeah, we're still, you know, the sad story about this is we're still out. <laughs> okay. Come on, partner. Ah, I didn't look, I didn't look. Come on, Lord Wogan. Slowly back and... Uh -huh. Yeah. Very nice, partner. Yeah. See, there's a, there's a hill there. He's so modest with it, too. Now this is for a three. This is to get a stroke back after that lovely second shot from Sandy. Yes, a birdie and a smile. So two holes left and only one stroke in it. Minus two, two under par to one under par. Par five coming up, their eighth hole. The 17th here on the Ailsa course at Turnbury, par five, of course. And there it is, stretching out, rolling up the bank. Reachable easily today in two. Oh, that's a big drive. That's a big drive. Oh, nasty kick just into the light rough, but that's a very long tee shot indeed from Sandy. Oh, pressure on Wogan here. Trevino's missed the fairway. So, uh, although uh, Terry's got a three wood, he may well outdrive Sandy. He's got an advantage on the tee of some 45 yards. He's hit a cracker. Good go, go, cracking drive. Put a wedge on old Lee's hands. Put a wedge in his hands. Don't go in the bunker. <laughs> the drinks are on me again. The drinks are on Terry. Hey. <laughs> Oh, what a great drive, huh? You see that, Mastin? <laughs> uh, it's nice when you hit a good one, isn't it? We've got to make the green here, partner. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. Well, Bill couldn't uh, do any better than uh, Sandy's drive. So they're both going to play from here. It's 214 yards to the green, to the flag. Master Lyle, five iron. Oh, be close, ball. Oh, he likes Be it. close. He likes it. Don't kick right. That's not bad, is it? So drive and a flick with a five. Stuck quick again, isn't it? It's not bad though. He's only about eight yards away. 
uh, off Terry's drive. He's got a five iron. Bill Beaumont's hit his well, second, a good one, but just found the sand. So they'll use Sandy's yeah. ball. Well, you just brought me out to what? To keep score for you or what? <laughs> look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at this. Very good. All right, sir. What a, what a, you just wanted some company, huh? Trevino, six iron. Both sides are on the green already in two. Can Trevino get nearer than Terry? Come in. Come on, left. Come on. Oh, I think you're closer. I think you're a lot closer than I am. It, I was lucky you kind of ran into the right, didn't it? He pulled it, came off the hill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, you see, that's what comes of knowing the course, does it? That's it. <laughs> knowing the course indeed. Beaumont and Lyle side to putt first on this par five. Both sides have got putts for eagles. Now, there's a grip I've not tried before. I tell you what, that's pretty. Come on, Bill. Have come on, Bill. Good line, good line. Bill Marks. I can make this one now, I think. Now I've seen the line. He sent his forefinger, right forefinger, down the shaft a bit, a la Seve. Oh, pulled it terrible. Oh, Come back, you yeah, goosed it a little bit. Terrible. Sandy will tap his in. Uh, it'll be a birdie four for his side. Bill can pick up. Hey, partner. This is what they call a Texas scramble. I think you're a better putter than I am. I'm going to putt first. Okay. Vino for an eagle three. I pulled it, partner. I'm trying not to work a, back. Not a, Ooh, not a million miles it. away. Pretty putt. straight, really. I played it. I played it to break. I played it to break a little bit, but it. You played it to the left of the hole. Terry for a three. He's got the speed. Oh. He had to have a go, I suppose. A little easier, maybe. Now, yeah. we'll tap hey. in from where Trevino's ball finished. A little easier. I thought I had that. Yeah. Now, Lee just taps his in. That's a birdie four for his side. But Beaumont and Lyle also got a birdie. So just that one stroke in it with one hole left to play. Three under and two under. Their final hole, there it is. Tapitori, par three, 222 yards. And the wind again has died away. Sandy first, two iron. Oh, oh there's a beautiful, go in the hole. Go in. Now you pulled it, Sandy. <laughs> Lovely hit huh? from Lyle, right behind the flag. How are you going to get inside this? Let me tell you something. I haven't hit this green Flat in time. 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't today, folks. He missed it again, so pressure once more on Wogan. Three wood. Oh, sure. Come on, Wynn. Come on, Wynn. Yeah. Ah, lovely, lovely. Sure. We'll That's take a chance. Very good one. indeed. Now, you see, that wind didn't even bother that ball. Oh, it. Never moved, did it? No. <laughs> Never moved. <laughs> God, that was another character he builder. Hit it. Yes, hit Wogan's it. done well today. And that, sadly, is where Bill Beaumont's drive finished, buried in the flowers on the hillside. But uh, not to worry, his partner close by. Now, the two lads from the back of the green, a stroke ahead. Tapping down, tapping down. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's a perfect putt. What a great putt. Yeah, hasn't he played well today? He really has. The pressure's enormous on our celebrities. The cameras are there, the spectators are there. Everyone thinks you're going to play a lot better than you probably can. It's been very good stuff. Now, come on down, he comes. 
Oh, no, it, it went right on me again. Oh, baby, went right on me, partner. Well, that looks... Uh, hey, guys. Or as if one of them's certainly going to get a three. Went a little right on me, partner. It'd be handy if one of these went in, wouldn't it? It would be handy, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you could, uh, yeah pretty straight. I won't do an awful lot. You can't tell with the pace it's going to go down there. It's going to... Mm. But there's no distinct bottle on it, so it's made of it fairly straight and get a good roll. That ball's lined up pretty good, Dave. You just square them with that with a club face. So here we go. If one of them can hold, I think they could square the match. Stay left. Oh, it did stay left. Oh, oh he was unlucky Great there. Right? Yeah. He sworn that would move to the right, and it didn't. Very good. Bill Marks. Now, oh, can Sandy do it? This virtually to halve the match. Oh, it's all the way. What a lovely putt. He's been fussed about his game today, but really came good at the end. That's a super two. Yeah, thank you. Did he go back left? Just went pretty straight down most of the way. What's that, straight? No, yeah, hey, pretty straight inside. That, that was very fine. Yeah. Now, Tavino or Wogan have got to hold one of these little putts to square the match. Oh, he hit it too hard. Oh, I well, say, I thought Dad. I'd give it a rap. You certainly hey. did. He did. To, you'll take the rap if Trevino misses yeah. this. Never in doubt. Well, what a good game. All right, partner. Good two. Good two. All right. Well played, my boy. Well played, well played. Bill, do anything. Well Thank you, Lee. Well played. All right. Both sides round in three under par. A very good game indeed. A lot of good shots and an awful lot of fun. Well, a super match and a great two to finish with, Sandy. Very, very well. well. Eh? Two iron and a two iron putt. and a putt. And Bill, that was a, quite an experience for your first pro celeb. Golf. Well, indeed, thoroughly enjoyed it, and also uh, thank the lads for the lessons on the way round. Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised they. Could I thought you were going to go home <laughs> like this at one stage. <laughs> well, I looked a bit like Quasimodo, and I, I certainly felt like him. I was intrigued by the putting grip. It was uh, you know, the, the you. Had, have you got 14 fingers? How do you, oh, no, they're, they're such delicate little gems, too. Look at those. Kind of play, actually. <laughs> now, you were nearest the pin on the short hole, the 11th, and so you're going to take home this fine Merlin hawk full, of, full oh, of goodies. Awesome, so, yeah. nice, nice little something for, yep. the, for the windowsill, yep. Bill. Thank you very well, much. Well, nice Thank to you. see you. And, of course, you have a Tantalus, a Tantalus, and what? Booming drives. Oh, he played well. He played well. And he held out when it was really needed. He yeah. held out manfully. Yeah. One of the great putters of all it's time. Are you trying to make me feel good about this? Why are you? you I wanted to win for Lee. Because, frankly, he told me <laughs> that he was going to go straight to his suite and burst into uncontrollable tears if he, he didn't did. win this one. He did. He did. Yeah. No, we, we, we enjoyed pleasure. the match. We yeah, enjoyed the match. Great fun. We played what, well. What did you hit your second with at the uh, 17th? The, 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 the uh, par Six five? nine. Driving a six iron. Mm. You should take him with you all the time. Oh, yes, I we're going to play. Way. We're going to play in pro-ams in future. I yeah. drive, he plays the second, he points. Well, a very successful combination. <laughs> That's it. So, match all square. Another good game finished, and I hope you've enjoyed it at home. Until we meet again, goodbye.